If you wanna edit your astrophotography, there are five pieces of software that I recommend you look into. If all you have is one photo of the night sky, then you can pretty much just use Lightroom. But the challenge is as you start to push and pull that image, you can really notice a lot of the noise. And so what I end up doing is doing multiple exposures where I'll have a really long, low ISO exposure just of the foreground. That's two minutes, three minutes, or, or even 10 minutes long. But then for the stars, for the Milky Way, I'll usually do between three and nine separate images and then combine them. Now, some photographers will combine them inside of Photoshop. I find that doesn't really work that well. And so I'll use a software called Sequitur or Sequator. I'm not quite sure how you say it. And that will take those images, align them and, and de-warp them. And for me, I found that to be the best result. Sequitur can also remove hot pixels. So if you do a photo that is a black photo where you cover your lens or you put your body cap on and you take that, you can also feed that into the program and that will further reduce some of the noise or some of those hot pixels. But if you're doing a star trail or a star trail time-lapse, what you'll need to do is you'll need to combine hundreds of photos. Usually I'm doing anywhere between 200 and 400 images that I've shot over the course of maybe like an hour or two hours. And I'll use a program called Star Stacks because unlike Photoshop, if you just stack them all together, sometimes you'll get gaps in between each of the photos. So even though your camera might be on an interval timer and it's just constantly taking photos, there is still a little bit of a delay that can result in your star trails looking more like dots instead of like nice smooth trails. And then if the photo that I'm taking is actually a time-lapse or, or in this case, that would be a video, usually I'm combining a clean plate. So that front long exposure where I've masked out the sky with a rear image sequence that I'll combine inside of After Effects. 